Okay, boys and girls, mid-chapter checkpoint is showing you, or it's just review of all skills that we have done for, ch um, for chapter 9 so far. So you're going to use your fraction strips today to answer these questions. We will do number 1 and 2 together. Number 1, read the problem. When two fractions refer to the same whole, <laughs> explain why the fractions with a lesser denominator has larger pieces than the fraction with a greater denominator. Okay. Why does the fraction with a lesser denominator, that means a lesser denominator means a denominator that's smaller. Why does a fraction with a smaller denominator have larger pieces? Is what it's asking. Then one then a denominator with bigger pieces. So basically it's kind of asking, why does why is one fourth greater than one eighth? Why does a denominator with a smaller number be greater than this one? Because the more pieces there are, the smaller the pieces are. Okay, the more pieces it is cut into, the smaller the pieces are. Okay, so let's write that. Uh, well, let's take the bigger the number. Bigger the denominator. Bigger the denominator, the should we say is the is the more pieces it's put into, or we just say the the more pieces it is put into. And if it's put into more pieces, then the pieces are what, guys? Pieces are small. Small. Okay. The more pieces it is put into, the smaller the pieces are. Okay, number two, read number two. When two fractions refer to the same whole and have the same denominators, explain why you can compare only the numerators. Okay, so what they mean by this, guys, is if you have two fractions, okay, and both fractions have the same denominator. Why can you only compare the numerators on the <coughs> Okay, why are you only comparing these things on top? Eli? Because they're the only thing different. Okay, so if you have the same denominator, then it is... Oh, different. The denominators are the same and the... No, 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 no. If the denominators are the same, then what? Think about the denominators. What does the denominator do? Oh, the other three to eight. Okay, then this one, but so if the denominator is the same, then if it's both of them are eight, what does that mean? Tell us. It means not just eight, but it's all denominators. If they are the same, then that, what does that tell us? What do denominators tell us? How many groups there are? No, it doesn't tell us how many groups there are. What does it tell us? How many is split into? How many is split into? Did we just talk about that up here? That the denominator is telling you how much it's split into, yes? Because we were talking about if the denominator is smaller or wait, small, bigger, it's split into smaller size pieces, right? Okay, the denominator tells us what it's split into. 
right? So if it's the same, then they're split into the same piece, same size pieces. Okay, so if the denominators are the same, If the what? The denominators are the same, then they are split into the same size pieces. We are not done, I will start a lot of writing again, okay? So if they're in the same size pieces, then we must compare them. Okay, so we can compare the numerators to see which is shaded the most, should we say shaded the most, or should we say, just say greater, okay. which is greater? So, wait, wait, should we say to see which fraction is greater? So, does it say so? You see which Compare the compare the numerator. Compare the numerator. 